Hello, welcome to Castle and Despair Embrace Dungeon Monarch demo. So, this is a deck building dungeon defense role play game. So, this is demo available stream right now. It's a demo, so if you guys are interested, go check it out. So, I actually played the demo before. The problem is, after I finished my recording, next day there was an update. So, it is kind of different. So, let's see what changed. So, there was a couple of typo issues they fixed, and they introduced a couple of new systems to the game. So, let's give this another shot. So, Oh, so the option is gone, DLC, achievement, continue, all of that is gone. So I guess that's a good sign. But if you play the demo before, they actually had like a DLC section here. So that's not really a good sign for the demo, really. So you can, I can change the language to from English to Korean. Um, uh, uh, there is a bit of an issue with the language right now. Even if I chose English, there's a couple of like, uh, Koreans here and there. So there's different some um, text issues still in the game for the demo. Well, let's dive in and let's see what changed. So I'm probably going to skip over the most of the stuff because I already uh, played the demo. It's kind of the same, except there are a couple like a, uh, like a new system they implemented to the demo. Uh, there's a reward and loot system. There's a construction system. There's a lobby that you can travel um, before uh, the, each dungeon, basically. So I'm going to just skip over this. Uh, so everything, everything is kind of same. There are a couple of text changes here and there. Okay. Okay, they are still the same. So nothing's changed. Okay, nothing changed from the introduction cinematics. But there, I think there are a couple of changes here. Okay. So that is this is the beginning. So I think there's a couple of like there was a couple of text issue here. I, they fixed it, but there are still some issue. So so the, his name is Byless. So Gramora, where is the monarch? So Byless, the monarch disappeared on Mr. The, the Thunder's Chaos. So she's Gramora. Okay, so there are a couple of text changes. So there are a couple of text changes pre, uh, compared to previous demo. The thread here. So it said nine damage, but they took fifteen damage. So I don't know how that works, really. Yeah, they different changed a couple of text here because I this is definitely not the same text uh, from the previous demo. Yeah, we know that. That's fine. And we can summon the Monarch. Bam! So they changed the text color here as well. I kind of like the blue text uh, compared to the red one. Hmm. Oh well. So we can use the Monarch card. And now the betrayal. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Now that that has been fixed because he was he was calling out the wrong name before, but that's fixed. Good. Okay, so that's okay. This is wrong. <laughs> so, uh, Gramora is supposed to say this. So this text is wrong. So they need to fix this. Uh, it's a little thing. So 
they changed the text there as well, but but she was supposed to curse you like, uh, but that's not the text anymore. Uh, and they changed this as well. When you were still rich Lula a few months ago. So this is new uh, because we didn't really get to use the lobby before. Okay, the text is still the same here. So now he's called Monarch instead of his name. Okay, they kind they kind of need to decide on the text color. Because they are going from the yellow, blue, and red. They are all like combining all together. It's kind of confusing. So now, it, now it's back to blue. What, whatever, pale, whatever you call it. Back to blue, then red again. So it, it is kind of confusing. So please stick to the color. You know, I mean, if you want to use the blue color, blue color for like a name, and if you just want to use the red color for like something important, that's fine. But just stick with the theme, please. <laughs> it's com it's confusing. It's confusing when you're just switching switching the text color like back and forth. Now it's back to now it's back to blue again. <laughs> Okay, now this is different. So we can use W C to move. When you approach a specific target, you can interact with the W C. Uh, you can't really do much in the demo, but this is a. I, I think this is a pretty good change. Uh, I kind of wish the grab is. Um, well, I mean, it's still under development, right? It, it everything could change. I don't know. It kind it, it kind of feels unfinished. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels like unfinished. So we can't really talk to them right now. Uh, so there's a, I think there's like a bedroom here that I can't get. Yeah, there's bedroom here. It's kind of hard to see the bedroom unless you like approach it right here. So I think that needs to be fixed, sure, fixed for sure because it's kind of hard to see that you have uh, access to the room here. Maybe give you like a mini map down here that you have like access to this here, here. It'll be nice. Then you have the library here, and this one you can unlock um, after the first stage. I'm sure there's a lot, lots of stuff that's not still available for the demo, so I'll be interested to see like a lot of other stuff uh, at like a, in the full version. There's a lot of doors, so <laughs> this, so this has a lot of potential, lot of potential. So we can check the library. So library basically you can modify your deck here, and you can take a look at the card that you have. Uh, it, right now, uh, it's a demo, I understand that, but the text is, the description of the card can be quite confusing for the demo. Uh, for example, this one. Grand Steel Region, a shield of 15 to 129. Well, is, it, is it random? How does it determine the value? Doesn't say that. Same with this. It deals from 5 to 135 damage. So how do you get more damage? So what I'm guessing is that the more synergy you have, so this is a steel region symbol. The, the more synergy you have with the steel region, the more damage you, you can deal with this card. That's how I'm interpreting it right now, but I'm not 100% sure. So they need to do a better job explaining things uh, on the card description. Otherwise, it's really confusing. But they did fix a couple of issues with like a text and like an elemental attribution. So they fixed that so you can now actually get the accurate information about your elemental uh, attribute point. So that's really nice. So let's get into the game. So this is 100 gold and this is, uh, I'm, I can't remember the name, but you use this resource to reroll and like a buy something else. I think uh, it's not available for demo, so you can't really use this. Except for the reroll. So you can see the detail of the dungeon. You can see the first floor, second floor, third floor. Uh, you can see how much card that you have. And like how many minions that you have. Uh, the monarch. 
and how many like uh, prisoners you have. Uh, you, I'm gonna get into that in a minute. So let's go for the first dungeon. So there are 30 intros in total. They are not a threat. What do we kill at our god down? Okay, okay. Blah, blah, blah. So they're still the same text. So yeah, this, this is the same. So I'm just gonna skip over this. So we get five units that we can recruit. So, so you kind of want to recruit the region swordman this, because this has a, a steel region and butcher um, point. So wind is his elemental types. So every unit has a random elemental type. So if I hire another legion swordman, and the other legion swordman might have different elemental type. So you have to watch out for those. And it's, so there is a synergy point. Uh, so with like a, the more steel region that you have with the unit, the more benefit you can get. So you kind of think about the synergy with the unit. The same unit uh, doesn't count uh, with as a synergy. So you kind of have to recruit different unit if you want to get more synergy point. So I'm going to get the steel builder because it's a steel region. Uh, I don't really like any of these options, but I kind of have to recruit them. So you can see the like, numbers here. So that's a uh, population cost. Uh, so I have 11 population points, so I can only... Um, Put unit up to 11 population points. So if I have like a five steel regions swordman, I can I can put five of them onto the battlefield, and I can put like extra one with the one extra population point. So that's how that works. So you you kind of don't want too many high population point because you kind of need to fill the spot. But I kind of don't have a choice here. Uh, don't mage. But uh, this is not really a good setup. I have a vampire. I'm gonna get you. Oh, this is not good. Don't really like this option. I'm actually gonna skip them. Don't really like their choice. So yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay. So we have a building here. So this building applies onto this tile. It's kind of hard to tell. But this building applies on this tile. It basically increases your defense uh, of your unit on this tile alone. So you can modify this uh, after this uh, after this battle. But it's quite limited because it's a demo. So now if I put the Legion Swordman here, you can see all of this different synergy that I have right now. So I have Steel Region 2 point. So because I have this guy, now this is 3. The thing is, it's... The game is not clear about this because, as you can see, so if I, I can recall him back. So if I recall him back, uh, come on, drag it here. Bye. So this guy, now I have two points in the steel region because of this guy. And probably because of the watchtower, I'm not sure. But the thing is, I have, like, it says I have, I have one point in Ash Raider. And I have one point in the Butcher, one point in Slave Hunter. But that's actually not true because I can only see Steel Region and Butcher uh, on the Legion Swordman. So I think either there's something text missing here or this information is just wrong. I don't know, but they probably need to fix this. It's kind of confusing. So now I have a one because I placed this guy down. And I have an extra point in the Steel Region. That's good. So I have another Ash Raider point. So I have another benefit here. So, so that is the synergy point. So the thing I kind of don't like about this is that in the recruitment phase, I can't really take a look at the synergy that I have right now. So I kind of want to tap out uh, out of the rec recruitment phase and see the op see, see the synergy synergy that I have. So that kind of needs to be changed for sure. Uh, and if I press Q, I can see I can take a look at how much like element to attribute this. Uh, synergy that I have with each floor. So this is the first floor. That's the second floor. That's the third floor. So okay, let's get it going. So enemy of the round start. So enemy will travel up from up here to down to the portal. So we gotta defend the portal basically. So they will spawn onto these tiles 
and they will be stunned for one the first turn they spawn so we have to we have to use this time wisely because basically we get a, we get first like a free turn as uh, basically yeah so we summon the unit here they will try to pursue the other unit from here but we because because we have the watchtower here we can actually summon units onto this tile so now i have all this card that i can use uh, the monarch card is not available because we don't have the monarch on the battlefield so we we can take a look at their stat by clicking on them uh this is a, so this is a health uh the game still need to do better job explaining what these all are uh the game does explain the speed and the threat level but that's about it So these guys are fine, so I think they can deal with this. Uh, we have to deal with this one, so let's descend here. So now this is really confusing, because it says do 28 damage. But if I use it here, okay, let's, hold on, hold on. So let's see, so this guy had, oh shit, <laughs> didn't mean to use it there. <laughs> okay, so this guy had 12. So this should be able to just one shot you, right? But that's not the case. It, it only dealt 9 damage. So how does that work? The text is really confusing. So it says it says 28, but it only dealt 9 damage. So is it like a 28 damage in total? Divide by 3? I don't know, but it's really confusing right now. So that needs to be fixed for sure. Okay, let's descend again so we can use the concentrate get one mana okay let's retreat i don't need to be on the battlefield so let's end the turn yeah combat phase they explain like a skill cooldown and whatnot so it's fate so very much like the auto battle -order stuff here so this this game is kind of like mixed with like a um deck building um like a roguelike and also auto battler at the same time because you like uh, you use the unit you spawn the unit and they battle each turn and they use their skill when their skill bar is full those kind of things okay so now we can use the okay we can use the, like a fire spell here so if i use the fire spell on this spot and if i change it with q you can see like a so they they fix this because previous on the previous version I can't, I couldn't see what the fire actually did, but now I can actually see. But uh, there oh, oh, there are still a couple of text issues there because you can see the sprite name bronze, silver, gold, platinum, whatever. <laughs> so we have two points here. So attacks have a chance to deal three bond damage to target. That's nice. So we kind of want to increase that, but can't really do it. But we go here. So now we kill the enemy and we can actually take reward so that this is added um, as a new feature for the devil so we can we can have extra um, card basically and this stays with us after the battle so uh, the monarch deals to the enemy this cost two not sure if i want any of these <laughs> honest Eh, I will just take this. Add one mana cost. Okay, let's do this again. So now this is reset to Z, reset to ones. So I'm not sure how this works. Still confusing. So let's summon you again. Okay, let's summon you again. Okay, can I do this? Oh, I still have this. I kind of want to descend again. Why can't I not do this? I, I want to use this. I want to use this and this. Oh well. So now this is back to 3. I'm a bit confused how this works, <laughs> really.
So if I use here, so I think that's in total amount of damage, not a single target. So they kind of need to do a better job explaining that thing. Let's descend here. Well, I only have one mana. Yeah, even if I get the mana, I have this card there, so it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, how did he take damage there? Okay, I don't know why he took damage. Okay, recruitment phase. So, units spawn from portal gate on turn 4, 8, 12. Okay, good to know. Now we can recruit some unit. Okay, I kind of want to get the better unit here. Eh. Okay, I wanted to have. Okay, kind of want to tap out and see what I have, but. Can't really do that, so I, I think this if we need to be fixed. Uh, man, don't like any of these. We can get the Legion Shieldman. It's pretty good. I think I already have Shaman, so get you. Hmm. They all cost two. That's a bit of an issue. I kind of need one cost unit. Oh well. Okay, I think we're good. So now we kind of need to summon these guys on the battlefield. Okay, now I should have more points in the sea region because of this guy. So we have another point in the butcher, that's good. So we kind of want them to stay here, don't pursue, we want them to come to us, so these guys are okay, okay we press tap, now we can use this, increase the value of seal region by 2, increase value return to its original value every one turn, uh, I mean 2 we get more bonus right, uh, don't really get Mm, we get more defense and block, but trap damage doesn't really matter. So we still have this. Okay, there you go. We do, uh... For next three turn, allow the additional damage based on the unit defense when they attack. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, let's get this. Mm. So they have to come down here, right? So why can't I descend here? That's kind of weird. So I have to descend on where the enemy is. Otherwise, I can't really use. So that might need to be changed. Because there are some, sometimes you just want to use this card. Right? Even though there's no enemy. Right? So I think that needs to be fixed. For sure. Uh, so I have two mana. So use it. Okay, use this here. I kind of want to use this, so please don't discard this, of course. <laughs> okay, let's retreat. What? Uh, why can I not retreat?
Okay, I'm kind of confused. Why can I not retreat? So there's also text issue here because you can see there's a, like a Korean text mixed with English here. So that we need to be fixed for sure. So I don't know why I cannot retreat. Hey, dodged. Okay, now I can retreat. So there's gotta be like a limit. There's gotta be a limit. And there you go. So you can see like enemies defeated, enemy captured, fallen allies, gold, you can all see all the stats. And we can see like a bloodstone. So bloodstone is the currency that we can use to reroll the card basically. Uh, right now, that's all you can do with it, but uh, I think this is probably used for something else later. It's not available for the demo, though. So, prisoner management. So, this is new. During battle, some of the intruders you repel will be captured as prisoners instead of being killed. These prisoners are held in the dungeon's prison where they lose a certain amount of men. So, this is the mental strength. So, th this wasn't explained uh, in the previous demo, so now it explains. Once their mental strength reaches zero, they can be corrupted and turned into allies. So, I mean, we just want everyone, right? We just want to have them all so we can um, have them as uh, allies, basically. So now we have a reward system. So after you beat the dungeon, you can get the reward. We can change it. We can reward reward with the bloodstone. So we, we can choose the building blueprint. So alter tie with the building, increase the attack power of allied units. Deal three mental damage to enemy at the start of each turn. So there's a mental mental damage as well. So you gotta think about those. At the start of each turn, there's 20% chance to summon allied mana one if possible. So hmm. I kinda like the altar. And the building actually allow you to okay. You, this this icon here is actually it actually has to do with the synergy. This is a steel region. I'm guessing this is a worm. Not sure what these are. Can't really remember. I'm guessing this is a butcher and steel region. Uh, we are going kind of strong with the steel region right now, so I'm kind of tempted to grab this. But this seems really interesting, so I'm just gonna take this. Yeah, I think the building also has a synergy point. Yeah, same text, just uh, just just a bit different, but still the same. I've gathered people who can build facility to strength the dungeon. Okay, that's different. So now we have access to the construction site. So we can modify our deck in the library if I need to. So let's let's go to construction site. So this is new for the demo. You are here. Yes, through this place, we can build things that will benefit the dungeon. Of course, we need a blueprint, but we'll secure them soon enough. Construction costs resource, so proceed with the caution. Uh, right now, because it's a demo, it only costs one gold. But in actual game, it probably costs more than one gold. So you can actually see what kind of unit you can get with this uh, building. So below, Epic Raid, Fanatic, Ash Raider, Dull Mage. So they probably need to explain that uh, in the reward screen. <laughs> So I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So it uh, the re on the reward screen, it just shows you the building ability, and that's it. So they definitely need to, yeah, they definitely need to do a better job explaining things. That's for sure. So let's grab the altar so we can build stuff here. So that's the watchtower. So right right now, because it's a demo, I can't really do anything with it. Yeah, the feature is still on the on development. Uh, so there's a construction and bridge, so you can modify the bridge as well, but it's still under development, so it's now over the demo. So basically, you can like remove the bridge and make like a what, like like a like a pathway between the floor, in a way, so enemy like has to take like a this path. If you, for example, if you just have like one bridge here, enemy all enemy has to like come this way, right? If you only have one bridge here. 
So there's something with like a designing your dungeon in a way so enemy has to take a certain path. So that will be interesting in the actual game. So there's there's a lot to do. Yeah, there's a lot to do here, a lot to think about. So let's put the altar down. Uh, so I want to install the altar. So where do I want to install the altar? So I probably want to install it in the middle. So that's where we mostly like to fight. Let's install it here. So we, we can repair the building. We can remove the building. But because it's a demo, we can't do anything else. So once you put it down, it's there forever. <laughs> so keep that in mind. So now we're done with this. Uh, we can modify our deck, but we probably don't need to. So we can't do anything in the bedroom right now. And that's it. So next stage. So we can see that we have 27 cards, 0. We have 6 unit, and we have 6 prisoner, and that's it. Okay, next battle. Okay, so we have to move the unit. So you go up. I kind of want to fight here because we get extra defense on this tile. But it's probably better to it's probably better to fight them here because once they spawn, we can have like one free hit. So we should do that. Okay, we have a lot of different synergy going on right now, so that's really good. Okay, let's try to get better unit, uh, gem guardian. Okay, I can't. Okay, what is going on? I can't really see. Uh, okay, come on. What is going on here? Oh, I think that's because of the building that I got. Yeah, I think that's what. So I think I'm getting this unit because of the buildings. I already have you. I have. Already, I already have the swordman. I can't really see. <laughs> so th this needs to be fixed for sure. Uh, let's grab you. Oh, you you have a lot of health. You don't. Ha okay. Mm, this guy is really weak, but this only costs one. So let's grab you. So, even though these are they are same unit, they have a different stat. No. Okay. What is going on? Oh, so that's different, is it? So it's a stat fix now, but because uh, on the previous version, even if they're, they're even if they're the same unit, they used to have different stat. They have exactly the same stat. What is going on here? The water, wind, earth. Okay, this guy have a wind. The elemental type is random. Let's hire you again because I'm kind of. Okay, that's kind of weird. So let's skip this. Hold on. Let's take a look at you. The so 54, 8, 14, 11, 90. Okay. Okay, so they. Okay. okay. So they do have the same stat now except the elemental type. Okay, I think that's really good change because it was kind of confusing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good change. Uh, because on the previous version, uh, even if they are same unit, they actually had like a different stat. So I think it's good that they actually have the same stat. Okay, I think we are done. So we have lots of synergy going on. Okay, round two. Okay, that text is, I think that text before the dungeon is kind of new. So 39 enemies left. Oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 why? You... Shoot. Okay, we, we know about these. Okay, Legion Synergy, gotcha. 
elemental type power okay that's been explained again oh shoot okay okay you have to pursue unfortunately <laughs> Okay, so we have lots of fire type up here, so we kind of use the fire spell up here. Problem is, we have more unit down here. So now this deals 50 damage. But that's actually not true, is it? Yeah, that's definitely not true, so that definitely needs to be fixed, or... They, they definitely need to do a better job explaining this, because it says 50 damage, but that's definitely not 50 damage, right? Uh, but the enemy. Uh, I also apply. Okay, that's uh, that's so much. Okay, now we have three fire, one wind on first floor. That's good. Now we are out of mana though. Uh, I could descend. Really? You dodged like two attacks? I don't know why these two are taking damage. It must be their unit ability or something. It doesn't say anything about them losing health, so I don't know what's going on. So, so this guy's stunned. We gotta kill Liu though. Really? I mean, you have armor, so it should be okay if we retreat. Okay, it's gotta be something to do with the unit that I don't understand. But this guy is taking damage for some reason. Okay, that's weird because... They used to spawn only spawn up on the first floor before, on the previous version. Now they can actually spawn on the second floor. Kinda don't like that. Because I can't really predict the enemy's movement like this. It says deal 7 fire damage. Not sure if that's true. Yeah, I don't think that's 7. <laughs> Definitely not 7 damage. So, I don't know. But this demo, so many things. The text and like uh, the value of the card is, is quite confusing, to be honest. Okay, let's change the reward. I kind of don't like any of these. Gain okay, mana equal to the number of units. Deal... Deal... What the... What? Deal 9,999 damage to ally unit. Oh, basically... Oh, the sacrifice. Oh, that seems really good. Now, let's change it. I kind of want to know what other things are next return. They're the same. And let's just take this. Can't really do anything right now, unfortunately. So this guy will die. I kind of want to group them up together if I can. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, really? Really? 
Come on! <laughs> Let me use the skill. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, I only want mana. Okay, let's use that. Okay, that filled up the skill. That didn't fill you up, though. You are still region. Uh, okay, that didn't work. This guy is supposed to be uh, still region as well. Okay, the text is slightly different from the previous version. Okay, now we can recruit more unit. Let's get the succubus. I uh, probably want to get the 50 on the soldier because it's cheap. So if you lose unit, uh, the unit is basically gone forever. Uh, we can't really summon any more unit. That's the issue. Oh well. I don't want to move him up, but I can't really let him get to the portal. Oh, of course he dodged. Dodged. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, this guy is like, I think this is a dodge. <laughs> 20 to dodge. I don't know if Arta is working or not. It's supposed to deal 3 damage for turn. Increase the attack power ally unit 3. Deal 3 mental damage to enemy at the start of each turn. So are they taking damage? That's 11. That's. Hold on. That's 11. That's 14. I don't know. I don't know if this is working or not. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, I think this guy is in trouble. Okay. Okay, that's okay. This is different. Every casual shall go inside the dungeon place. We should retreat. Okay, now comes the Prince Oscar. Okay, that's hmm, I don't know. Okay, that's good. Ooh, that seems good. Shield this guy. So we definitely gotta deal with this guy. So I'm not sure if this is triggering. That's the issue.
So I think this building is actually giving extra point uh, on the Fnatic and Ash Raider and Dome Mage. So you definitely want to have like synergy with the building and a unit. So you have like a more synergies basically. But I'm just not sure if this is working or not. It doesn't tell you. Uh, this guy have a high mental health. So <laughs> this is kind of useless right now. Oh boy, this guy is really tanky. Okay, this guy is about to use his skill, so that is kind of useless. Okay, this guy could be need help. Problem is this side. Okay. Ouch. Man, they're spawning like crazy. Yeah, compared to the previous version, this is much more difficult for sure. So I think I lost the shaman. So let's hire another one. Let's hire Go, Glaive, and Believer. So we ki we kind of have to summon this guy again. Okay, let's go back. So this is a problem. So this doesn't count as a sealed region for some reason. Man, one shot kill. <laughs> I mean, he's a boss, so. Okay, this guy is about to use his skill. I don't really want him to use the skill. Okay, that's not good. Okay, there you go. So even if you beat the boss, you still have to beat the other adventurer. So I kind of wish when you beat the boss, you just win. Just getting rid of all this is kind of annoying. So I have to protect the dungeon, so... I kind of have to spawn another unit. So who did, who did I lose? Oh shoot, I, I, I lost another one. Uh, 36, she's a bit weak. Uh, I think I should just spawn like a two simple unit here. Okay, not bad. So we just gotta get rid of all this and the game is over. Okay, what happened? What happened there? He kind of did his like uh, animation, but nothing happened. Okay, why are you can? Why are you not moving? Oh shoot, that's why. Okay, this is not good. Oh, come on. That dodge is so annoying. Eh. 
Man, that is good. Man, my unit is so weak. Oh no, <laughs> don't go alone. <laughs> well, this guy's dead for sure. <laughs> And he's gone. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Something's happening here that I don't understand. This attack animation is going off, but I can't really see what's going on here. No! Oh my god, this guy's going in the wrong direction. I lost the beetle. Go for the raider. Okay, that should have just tricked. Oh, come on. He didn't even get to use his skill. And I'm getting absolutely destroyed here. Okay, can, can I recall you guys? Can I recall you guys and put someone else? Nope. Oh well. That should be the end. There you go. So we enemy defeated 39, enemy capture 6. We lost 16 units. Did I lose that many units? Hey, let's Okay, let's take everyone. Yay! But the thing is, he didn't say anything, <laughs> so so I don't know what information he was talking about. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the end of the demo. So that's a really better version for this demo for sure. Uh, there was still a couple of issue. So there were a couple of language issue, like there was like a Korean and English mixed with like information here and there. So that definitely needs to be fixed for future. Uh, the text, the text description of the skill is kind of confusing right now, so they kind of need to do a better job about that. Because even though it says like a 25 damage, it's not exactly 25 damage. I think that means 25 damage divided by 3. Because when I used the skill, it didn't exactly deal 25 damage, so that if we need to be explained um, a better, in a better way. And the synergy system definitely needs to be explained just a bit better because I think there's also synergy with the, the more synergy point that you have uh, with those uh, synergy, the better, the stronger the card it gets. And that's kind of hard to tell. And also like a fire as a spell, it says still 7 damage, but it, it, it 
actually didn't deal 7 damage, it deal like a 40 something damage. So I think that has to do something with the elemental attribute point. And they kinda need they kinda need to change the value uh, if the attribute point is higher. Because you can't really make your decision based on the numbers shown on the card right now as a demo. So that if we need to be fixed for sure. And yeah, but I'm I think the demo is going into the right direction. The construction of the like uh, buildings and all, all like a different synergy and you can like uh, build your own paths. Uh that's really I think that's really good. Uh didn't I didn't really like the fact that enemy can be summoned onto the second floor as well as the first floor. I think enemy should be restricted to summon on the first floor. But that kind of makes the defense really difficult. So even though it was a demo, I think that needs to be changed because it it didn't it didn't work like that on the previous version. The enemy only summoned on the first floor, not the second floor. But in this version, enemy actually can be summoned on the second floor, and it kind of makes your defense really difficult because you have to spread out your unit. So I think that needs to be changed again. <laughs> Maybe that's uh, maybe that was because of the demo. They just want to uh, have like a player to have a, just a slightly difficult experience. Maybe I don't know. But if that's the case, they probably want to revert back to the original version because I really didn't like the fact that enemy can be summoned on the second floor. That's really not cool. Anyway, overall, I think the demo is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, they we still need to polish a lot of stuff for sure but i think it's going in the right direction so i en i enjoyed it i enjoyed it so i think that's it for the demo thank you for watching i will see you guys on the next episode take care bye